Hey everybody. So in today's episode, we're gonna talk a little bit about this Frontier OS 31, and I wanna give some of the measurements. A lot of folks have been asking this on forums and on the Facebook groups. So I figured I'd, I'd take just a few minutes, won't take long at all, and I'll give you the full measurements. That's length, height, all the way up height, as far as it'll go, some tips like that. So stay tuned, we're gonna get you all that information here in a couple minutes. All right, so the first measurement we're going to give you is the full measurement, and that will be from the bottom of the mill right here, not including the trailer. We're excluding the trailer from this measurement. So at the very bottom, all the way up to the very, very top of the scale, that right there is 76 inches. Now, can it go higher? Yep. Am I going to do it? No. And I'll tell you why. Um, it's this pulley. We're going to cover that in a quick second. So answer to the question the height from the very bottom all the way up to the very top at 20 inches which is what i'm comfortable with right now that is 76 inches now it shows we have another six inches so you could potentially go up to 82 inches high total so if you're building a place for this you could you know give it at least 82 inches i would go with the standard 96 personally but now let me tell you why i don't want to go much higher so the way this pulley is if you can see up in here this is rubbing just ever so slightly right here. This probably needs to be cut out a notched or something or put another pulley in because, you know, and it's doing it on both sides. So that is the total height. Next up, we're gonna do the total width of the saw head with the, with the handle and the orientation that I have, which I think is probably the largest width you're gonna have. You can always push it down. So we're gonna do that next. So the next measurement that I took was from this very edge with this handle all the way out and this orientation from here all the way up to the very front of this. This thing sticks out just a smidge. That is about 46 inches deep. The next measurement I'm gonna give you is the, the total length of the whole mill itself. So if you get a standard ordered OS 31, you're gonna get two seven foot sections. Each of these are seven foot, pretty much exact. Now, if you put both of those together and you take into consideration, they have stoppers down here, which are these pieces right here. Uh, never mind this, this is for my extension that isn't on right now. So this would not be sticking out, nor would this trailer piece. But you will get these, which will basically stop the saw head on the track from flying right off. That'd be a bad day. So the measurements I'm gonna give you include this stopper here, and it will also include the longest stopper that you have right here which is one you could you know you can hook the saw head back all the way so that is 175 inches and three quarter that's all the way from this point to the very very end a little over 14 feet so after giving you that measurement of the total of 175 and three quarter inches that's from the very very end all the way to the top uh, right down here let's say that you want to build something to fit it in it's going to be another 14 inches with this thing out all the way so just give it at least 200 inches and that's just enough to fit the mill in you're going to want to give yourself probably at least three foot on each end to walk around it at the very least um, and moving around so again 200 inches is probably a safe total length on a standard build which is two seven foot tracks on it that's right from the very edge here all the way to the very very back All right, so the next question, some people were asking, how wide is this? Again, OS 31. So the width, I'm going from this far outside piece right here, all the way over to this, which could extend out this far. So that total width is 82 inches. Now, of course, this, you're just gonna slide that in and out for larger boards or larger logs. But anyway, all the way out, which is where it locks. 82 inches. Okay, so when you buy this mill, usually what comes with are these little feet and they'll go into, you now all these holes are covered, but yeah, one of these holes like that, there's another under here. Um, you get a handful of these and you could use them all the way across. Good idea, each of them are adjustable. So how big is this? And so you can take a look right here and see. Yeah. 
this right here is probably going to give you a max lift of about four inches off the ground that's about as high as you're going to be able to go so that's what these guys will get you now it is a bolt so you could technically go and get a different bolt just make sure you get the right grade that's an 8.8 .8. and you can get a longer bolt perhaps but uh, a lot of folks what they do is they'll either have something poured you can put cinder blocks down tamp sand and so on crushed asphalt there's a lot of different substrates you could put down first but um anyway i wanted to give you the measurements on this guy right there all right the next question a lot of folks may ask so how wide are the tracks from this far edge all the way over to this far edge 36 and an eighth now these pieces over here are just over an eighth on the side these bands you know so you can add a quarter or so it's a little over that um, to that total width now a big question a lot of folks might have the standard two seven foot extensions with this saw head all the way back and all the way forward how big of a log how long I should say can you cut about 130 inches so that's just over 10 foot so 130 inches is about the max you're gonna get and that's that's tight from all the way up very close all the way to the very end hi everybody thanks for hanging out to the very end of the video and i hope this was really helpful for you if it was please click that like button and consider subscribing and then you can see all the new videos that we have out so have a great day thanks again for watching